Well, today we're going to be talking about downbursts and microbursts. We've heard a lot about that F1 tornado in Leamington, Ontario, uh, which has caused uh, some damage in that community. And Environment Canada has actually confirmed that tornado. But a lot of the damage that occurred in that city may have also been caused by what is known as a downburst or a microburst, which is a lot different than tornado damage. Tornado damage stuff is literally picked up scattered around and left on the ground in a very irregular and unpredictable fashion. Some of the damage in Leamington, Ontario is evidence of straight line winds which may have been caused by a downburst. Now a downburst is literally a mass of cold air that sinks and hits the ground and then spreads out and blows over everything in its wake. So today we're going to show you what a downburst is using toothpicks, little bits of construction paper, and we'll use some styrofoam plates. All purchased on the Chex TV budget. Okay, so I've constructed the forest out of toothpicks and little bits of construction paper. So these are pine trees. It's a pine forest, a boreal forest, if you will. Uh, also, I've mixed up um, some of our cold, dense air. And uh, this is literally just flour and water. And then just so you can see it a bit better, I've added in a little bit of blue food coloring. So that is going to be the air that sinks for our downburst. And Try not to mess up the news desk too much. And here's our forest, and this is essentially what happens with a downburst. We've got the cold air that sinks, it hits, and it literally spreads out and knocks over all of the trees in about the same direction. A little different than a twister. You can see all the trees falling generally to the same direction, we'll say uh, to the east with this air mass, and uh, well, even though a little different than a twister, as you can see, equally as damaging. And that is what may have happened in Leamington, Ontario.